In most Mario games, there's always some new extra levels in the end after beating them for more fun and more suffering. They are considered as some sort of a reward completing everything in it and I definitely think it's a great way to offer some enjoyable challenging levels usually found in the special world. And I get straight to the point. Mario Wonder's special world sucks, okay? Like compared to other special worlds, this one is bad. Let's see how you first access it, because in Mario Wonder it's very different. You see, instead of unlocking the whole area that contains the levels, you have to unlock its levels one by one. Each world has a propeller flower that leads you to those special world levels. They are often accessed by finding secret exits or hidden paths and completing a few levels, but two of them are literally unlocked by going to the last area with nothing interesting. TWICE why just why i don't necessarily hate the idea of unlocking them before completing the game but it's really executed badly the levels that lead to those warps are generally easy which doesn't feel like a satisfying reward and it makes these special levels more like just normal ass levels but just a bit more tough and the secret exits aren't that hard to find, let's be honest. They should have kept it the way it was in older games, to make the player have a reaction of LET'S GO! Instead of Oh wow. I like it better when it was after you beat the game and unlocked the levels by having collected the specific amount of the collectibles for each level. It was a very satisfying feeling and getting you excited for the new levels since they required more effort and trouble to go through. However, Nintendo made 3 levels of the special world unlockable only after you complete all the standard special world levels which makes it a bit better. Now let's get to the levels themselves since they are the main problem of this whole situation. First, the standard levels. Mario Wonder is different from other 2D Mario games because while they focused more on the difficulty and enjoyability of the levels, Mario Wonder has pretty charming and appealing levels that are mostly easy. And there's no denying in that. Because of this, the special world levels are not as hard as people expected them to be. In previous special worlds from other games, they usually had a lot of obstacles and required good platforming skills. But in here, the levels don't contain the same fun challenge and level design that you have to progress through. In the past, they were unique and hard levels with what the games offered in their game play mechanics. Even though Mario Wonder is a very creative game, it still has great ideas that are not implemented in a way to approach its fullest potential, and I think it failed to have great special levels because of its main gimmick, the Wonder Flower. As you may know, the Wonder Flower changes the level and makes it weird and goofy. Some are good and some are… yeah. But being in pretty much every single level and sometimes even reusing the same wonder effects didn't make it really bad since you play levels normally, only having the wonder effects near the end of the level. But in the special world it's the opposite, it's always almost the whole ass levels. Yeah, like to be frank, that is so horrible. Especially because of the fact that no wonder effect present in this world is new. All of them have been used in a level that you've played before. And what makes it even worse is that because the wonder effect has been used throughout almost the whole levels, it made them really short, which made them easier. At this point, I'm just gonna go play Little Timmy levels on Mario Maker. They could have at least made new effects to make the experience fresh and stand out a bit more. For example, there's barely any difference between these two levels. The badges are also a kind of problem when it came to designing these levels since they make it easier for the player to complete them. However, it would have been a good idea if they just disabled them in those levels straight up so that they don't affect the design nor their difficulty and just make normal hard levels. The effects that disable normal gameplay mechanics kills off the skills you have to use for platforming and makes levels chaotic instead of difficult since they use the same wonder effect you've seen before but just in a different new way. The levels are too dependent on the wonder flower which made their level design really not that good but having the 10 flower coins to get them was a good choice to make it harder but man. 
You just have to collect them once and that's it. Like if you got one of them and you die after, you don't have to get it again. And it kinda takes off the optional challenge. Now let's talk about the unlockable levels in this special world. The first one is a hard musical level. The second is just multiple wonder effects thrown into one level like the final Bowser level. And the final one is pretty much the only unique good level here. They are certainly tougher and a tiny bit longer than the previous ones, so they are definitely better. But the last level is the best, and I'm surprised it doesn't even have a wonder flower. It's a really challenging level that tests your skills and controls with almost every badge that affects your gameplay, and it's a very long one too. Literally has more than one checkpoint. Just imagine if there was no checkpoint. That would have given me more emotional scars than Champions Road. Doesn't even have any power-ups like the other ones, only giving you a mushroom at the beginning and that's it. The level takes every badge's ability to its fullest potential in a very smooth and creative way, and I like it. This is the only level that really tests your skills in the game, and it did not disappoint me at all. It was the perfect level to end the game with, as for everything else, it's bullsh- Now, I wanna talk about the special world itself. I like the fact that you can see a giant face of the wonder flower under you, but the layout isn't really appealing. The use of colors doesn't really represent the levels either. I think its theme isn't a bad idea, but the purpose of a special world is meant to be the last fun and difficult obstacle the player is going to go through. It doesn't seem like a final area either, not only visually, but also because of how you access its levels. Mario Wonder tries to be different and creative with the special world, to stand out on its own and not feel like or approach any Mario game from the franchise. But it tried too hard, to the point it's made it fail compared to the others. Mario Wonder's special world could have done better. It's just that it has good ideas, yet not good execution. It focused on being something unique and new, rather than being fun and better than the previous ones. Now like and subscribe.